everyone. Thank you for joining us. What an incredible evening we have planned for you. I am with so many of my friends. You know, we call them guests, um, our special guests, and it's because they're special to us. They're special to Nutrametrics. But I think what's really special about all of us is that we also call each other friend. I'm joined here with my partner in crime, Brandy Murphy, the director of training and field development for Nutrametrics, my very good friend, Julie Lansiedel, a nurse practitioner out of Bismarck, North Dakota. I'm here with Rebecca Carfee, if you want to say hello, Rebecca. Rebecca is joining us and is going to share what is honestly just a fantastic amount of information about what has made not just Nutrametrics, but Market America special for her. Maureen, I am excited to have you here. If you want to say hi to the crowd, I'm excited to have you here because you are this like tempered boat for me. You know, she's always got, uh, when I get excited um, and we talk about practitioners, Maureen's always great with like, just being like, but did we think of this? Did you like, let's talk about that. And I was like, that's a really good idea. They should know that before we get started. Right. And then Michelle and I have been having some really great conversation, have been working together for a handful of years through our professional program, Nutrametrics, with some very special practitioners. All of you have taught me so much. So thank you for being here with me. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Dr. D. I am the director of Nutrametrics, and I am in love with our online platforms and what we can do together. I Listen, we both know, or all of us know, that I'll talk till midnight if you let me. So <laughs> let's get started talking to everybody. This is the magic of an online community, is that we can share so much, and it can be so intimate. Brandy? Share with us, I mean, not share with us, but I mean, why are we here tonight? Like, what do we want to do together? Well, you know, what we wanted to talk about tonight is how unfranchise owners and Nutrametrics consultants or health professionals can really maximize digital events in their business. So we wanted to talk a little bit about over the last year, how we've transitioned from in-person events to online events, both in our own businesses and as a Nutrametrics division and Market America as the, the overall uh, parent company overall. So we wanted to be able to interview some of our people who've really grown their business through digital events and help our newer unfranchised owners learn why should they invite people to digital events? How do you invite people to digital events? And what could they expect from that? So let's start with Julie, because Julie, when one of the first things that we did way before anything happened with shutdowns or having to go digital was last year in January, before it was, we even knew it was going to be a thing, we planned the very first Nutrametrics 101, 201 online, specifically for your area. And why would, can, can you tell us a little bit, Julie, why that was so exciting for you and where your team is? And is it easy for them to get to in-person events? Even two years ago, was it easy for them to get to in-person events and what those, in, what those online events have done for your business? Well, I know it is amazing that we had planned that, um, online training that time ago, and we didn't know what was to come here in the future coming our way. But um, it, it really helps having an online event because it, oops, I'm zooming in and out here. <laughs> it really helps because people are not necessarily close here in Bismarck, North Dakota. So I live in North Dakota where, you know, things are far away from each other. And we have people in South Dakota, Montana, uh, Minnesota, and beyond that who are looking for trainings. And so we did that one last January, and we were able to have people from different, you know, states on, and it was a great kind of beginning format to what was to come. Um, we have done a lot of online. I would say we were actually doing Zoom up here before Zoom was like the cool thing, which now <laughs> because we are farther apart up in here. So it's allowed people to uh, really, for one, educate people from afar. Number two, um, expanding our business. 
like that. So now that, you know, the world has been kind of forced to be online, um, because I think most people do prefer to get together if we can, um, but we've kind of been forced that. And as the adjustment, now we're running wellness 101s, which we do, uh, where we can have people from like, we'll have six, seven states on, we can have the whole, you know, United States on, you never having to leave your home. So we can educate more people than we ever did. Um, also, I've been running TLS classes, and I have um, as, uh, people from Seattle right now in the class, and they definitely couldn't take an in-person class from me right now in Bismarck, North Dakota, while they're in Seattle. So it's really expanded the amount of people we can educate, um, both on product and on expanding our business. So yeah, it's been I mean, a here's the thing. We've thing. been joined, uh, Julie, by, and it's such, it was so timely because Dr. Nancy Miller Ely has joined us while you were talking about um, yeah. being able to work across um, the states, right? All the way across the country. Well, roughly, I guess for me, it's all the way across the country, right? To go east to west coast. But we've got Dr. Nancy Miller Ely here. And it was, like I said, it was great because one of the things that I think so magical about what's been created in this online space is that not only are you able to work with people in another state that wouldn't be able to work with you, but you're also able to show them practitioners or experts in their field like Dr. Nancy and really be able to get now Dr. Nancy B to be a part of a group, right? To be that influencer or that, that leader that says, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have a special guest that comes in and does a class with us. She's going to talk about reading labels or tell us about her background in the USDA, right? And that's something that Nancy um, is able to do and, and be that expert having that history with the USDA being able to say, this is where, um, this is how we used to educate the public. And now this is how you can educate the public. I think that's one of the very magical things about what's been created through these online spaces. This, the, um, you know, we're able to take something that used to feel so programmatic and really make it um, um, really touch and feel and so you don't feel like you're just plugging into a course, like you feel like you're plugging into a discussion, a conversation. It's not about presentation, Randy always shares with me. It's about the conversation that you can have and about the conversation that you can get started, right? So welcome, Nancy. Um, we're, we're here with everyone today talking about the power of being online, the power of grabbing influencers from all over. The, uh, all over the the state, and frankly, all over the globe. I I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that we're uh, being visited tonight by some of our friends in Malaysia and Australia as well, which are uh, really make this an influential way to again reach out and work with people and get them the information that they need. And I love what you just pointed out, Dr. Mason, because not only can our attendees come from all over the place when we're hosting online events, but you know we used to do our, let's say we're going to use Nutrimetrics 101s and 201s as an example. And I would travel out or Dr. Nancy or Julie or Sarah or you or any of our trainers would travel out to an event and it would be sometimes cost prohibitive to have more than one trainer go out to do a one day 101 201 and in December we were able to do an all-star 101 201 where we had some of our top trainers from scattered all around the country pulled together in one place and our attendees not only not only were the attendees from everywhere with no geographical restrictions but there were no overhead expenses of having to fly trainers in from all over the country and so we got the benefit of learning from multiple Multiple, practitioner, multiple practitioners, multiple NCs, multiple specialists, and growing the business in their own their own way. And it really helps to create a very diverse experience from the trainer perspective and from uh, the attendee perspective. Different thoughts, different experience levels can all be brought to the screen, even for a couple of minutes here and, here and there, and it really can add to the content. So I'm glad that you pointed that out. I think that's really, really powerful. That's perfect. Um, I mean, I, I know that you grew, uh, Julie, through doing this. Again, I thought one of the more magical things that you had pointed out to me was, again, like 
I, you know, it was, and it was almost like, yeah, I'm working with people in Seattle, right? <laughs> you know, one of the other things that's so great about these online platforms is the invitation, right? In a world where we don't feel like we can always feel or be really connected, right? We've got the just, I mean, how many of us have said, let's like jump on a Zoom. Like we can have a girl's night on a <laughs> Zoom, right? We can get together and so like, see each other over zoom and i think it's changed the conversation around that you know that coffee shop presentation that i think you know um uh, i think it's changed kind of the way we go well no i can um work with people and so i know brandy an important part of what we wanted to do tonight was to talk to people about the who the what the why the when i know we wanted to talk about um like uh, you know, ease of, of not just the invitation, but the conversation. So I don't know if you've got some, um, you know, some uh, specific questions. Maureen, you've said in the past that working at, you know, being a part of our online community was super uplifting because it meant that you had an, a front row seat, right? It was, it allowed you to, I mean, tell us a little bit about that because then it's going to go into some of the things that Brandy and I were talking about with the invitation. Well, I think our Nutrimetrics trainings are so great anyway, because it is like a community. You see people at trainings and that's, that's great, but there's only so many front row seats. There's only right up and, and personal so that, you know, when someone's speaking, it's like, when you make eye contact, you know, that, that they're like, oh yeah, they're not, you're not really waving at us, but you feel like, you know, Dr. D is saying hello. Well, that's how this last Nutrimetrics training felt like. And it also meant that whoever you invited also had that front row seat and felt really special. That's cool. Because in the trainings in, in reality, you know, if you're in the first couple of rows, you just feel better about being there, or, or at least I do. I can see better, I can hear better. And I, I feel like I'm being trained directly and individually. And that's what this format has, has done. I know that everybody had a front row seat. Everybody was comfortable. There wasn't the background noise. There wasn't distractions. Although a lot of those distractions are really good because it's like, oh, I hear this conversation. And at break time, you go around and you, you're a part of that conversation. And the format that we had, we were able to do that on the side in the chat which was incredible. I mean, I got to talk to people that I've been missing, but there they were. And we were both, we were all sharing the same experience. And so I, I find it fabulous. I, you know, I'm going to pull up a, I'm going to pull up a slide because not everybody had the chance of seeing what we are talking about. And so I have, um, can you see my screen? I just want to make sure yeah. that you can yes. see my screen. Okay. I have a screenshot of uh, the platform that Maureen was just referring to, oops, not going to the end of the presentation. We want to go to the beginning of the presentation. That's <laughs> not helpful. Let's go here to this one. You know, while this is happening, I mean, this is, this is what's so great about online. Like it didn't go exactly the way Brandy planned, right? She wanted to get to the front of the presentation, not the back <laughs> of the presentation, right? But it also, I mean, like everybody just laughed. Everybody feels authentic. Everybody feels connected, right? Because we're like, oh, been there, done that. And I have to tell you, it just creates a sense of intimacy that you wouldn't already have, you know? It's that break the ice kind of thing that just as well, I mean, that happened. And I I love those moments. Um, those because it's real life. I feel connected yeah. to you, right? I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and so this is from a screenshot from the last training that we had in January. And the reason why I think it's helpful to point out now is we have an event coming up in less than 10 days for Market America, not just through Nutrimetrics, but our Market America World Conference is going to be hosted on this same platform. So we're able to give people kind of a sneak, peek, uh, a sneak peek of what it's going to look like. And I just picked one of the sessions that we had uh, during our Nutrimetrics event 
And what you'll see right here is an image, but if the event was live, this is where the video that you would be watching of us talking would take place. It would take place right on this screen in this little box right here, which you could expand and make it bigger. And below it, you could see who the speakers are. You could see any relevant documents, any links to websites related to that specific session could all be right there. Because if we think about when we go to a live and in-person training, usually, uh, sometimes there are handouts that go along with it. And one of the things that people miss online is, well, how do I get all my handouts to people? And sometimes emailing it out can be difficult, but this platform allows people to link the documents right in the same screen where the video will be played. And Maureen referenced the chat discussion. The chat is over here. And what's super cool now, and this has even changed since January, is the chat follows you and the video follows you. So let's say, for example, you were watching the video in this box right here, and you wanted to click off one of the links that maybe I referenced go to our website and you click off and go to the website the video will follow you as well and stay on your screen so there's so many cool things because sometimes when you're at an event you don't just want to be staring at the stage you want to be looking at the ancillary documents like the handouts that they're giving you and this gives you the ability to do that so I think it's a really cool platform and I'm really excited that uh, we are using it now of course right. I might be a little bit biased. So I wanted to share just some of the feedback. Maureen was not the only one that said, you know, it's like a front row seat. I love that she said, do I miss in-person events? Yes, we all miss in-person events, especially those of us that are extroverts. But this is the closest that you can get to an in-person event and doing it online. I love here, Anita wrote, I always sit in front row seats in every class I attend and pay extra for front row seats when I watch a concert. This training gave me the ability to go above and beyond a front row seat. I love the platform. We have the ability to connect with each other, download resources, files, be able to watch the amazing trainers as many times as I want because recordings are automatically available in the replays, which make it really nice. And replays are available for two weeks. It's convenient, less stressful in many ways. I find it to be more valuable learning experience than the traditional sit in a stationary seat and stare at a PowerPoint screen. Right. It's way more interactive. We can chat, we can ask questions, we can connect with each other. And there's so many, so many great tools for that. And I know many of you who are with us tonight were on that particular session. I know that's your same experience, but does anybody have anything else that we didn't touch upon yet that you want to share before I go into the kind of the invitation slides? Well, well I, I, want, I want to pull out what Corey said. Fitting here, trying to get back into the swing of things on this snowy Monday morning, because we many of us got that in Maryland, and I'm having such a hard time because I'm still blown away by the training this weekend. Best online training I've attended yet. The platform, the content, the speakers, it was just all incredible. I loved Corey's response because she's getting back in the game and feeling engaged and active again. The other thing um, you may not know, Dee, is that Corey actually works in uh, doing event stuff with Bill Iser, so he's very familiar. So he's a harsher critic maybe than some people might be. Sure. That's fantastic. The thing I would add is that, you know, uh, I feel I felt good about being able to invite people to this because I work with a lot of very busy people, whether they're trainers or whether they're health professionals. Um, some of our trainers want to be NCs and, you know, people have trouble making time. And I think it was so engaging that once people got on, they stayed longer than they might otherwise. And they were also very reassured by the fact that they would have access to the replays. So I, I thought it was really, really a good platform. And we had a lot of positive feedback from our team. Oh, and, I, was, and Nancy, yeah. Yeah, go while, ahead. while you're talking, Nancy, I know you had one of your team members that joined, we had two different tracks uh, that people could go to. And sometimes when you go to an event, there might be breakouts happening at the same time. And you really want to watch one, but you can only be in one place at one time. And so I know some of the people on your team watched one track live. And then they went back and they watched yeah. the breakouts afterwards. And I think this gives a new opportunity for that because you couldn't always go back and watch a, a breakout that you missed, but this platform gives us the ability to do that. And I know both uh, Rebecca and Nancy had people that did that. Uh, so if either of you want to speak to that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, um, my partner who's a pharmacist wanted to have access to the health professional information, but yet she really would function as an NC. So she really wanted both. And so really what I felt like I was doing was being able to get her a half price deal on the training in a <laughs> sense, Randy, because she was able to attend both things, you know, and it was like and two for one. Yeah, my, my husband's a medical doctor. So um, we did the same thing and he'd want to watch the, the medical pieces. And there were things that I wanted to watch that I went back and I watched after. 
But there are two things that I really wanted to say about this platform that I think was very novel, very different than anything else uh, I've experienced with the online training. One is that we were able to set up a schedule uh, for ourselves before the event. So then it was just as, as Brandy was saying, clicking and going and watching session after session. But we were able to customize the, the training, the program for us and see what the different sessions were. I love that. And the other thing is I found it incredibly intuitive. My husband and I, we've got this thing where uh, I'll compare it to, to learning how to drive a new car, um, how to use the features in a new car. He'll take the manual and he'll read the manual from cover to cover. I feel that a car should be intuitive. Um, so I expect mm -hmm. that from my car. And this is, this is intuitive. I did not have to read a manual. I was able to um, set up my schedule. I was able to watch it. And I loved, loved, loved that all of the tools were there. Um, Sarah, I have, to, I have to shout out to you because you just posted that on Facebook about the importance of organization. And this platform, Swap Card, kept things organized for us. We didn't have to be searching for files. Mm -hmm. So everything was there, all the tools were there. I just loved it. Loved it. That's so awesome. And so I know, I, th I think we've talked a little bit about, you know, why people should in consider attending, right? That's really what we've been talking about, why people should consider attending an online event. And we have a big event coming up in 10 days. And so what I'm going to encourage everybody to do is take the next let's say eight days, seven to eight days, because you want to give people some time to actually get in and get their schedule set up, as Rebecca was saying, reach out to a minimum of two people per day, this week and next week, and just see how many people you can get to invite to our next event. It's always about, it's not about what the event is, it's always about get people to the next event, and we have a really incredible, one of the most incredible events um, in Market America happening in less than two weeks that I think, just think about what what would happen if you spent every day for the next eight days, let's say, and invited two people to the event? What could happen in your business? So some of you might be a little nervous to do that. You might say, I don't know how to reach out to people and invite them to an event. And I always say, this is one of my mottos, feel the fear. I, I say it to my kids all the time. I know it could be scary. Feel the fear and do it anyway. And so sometimes we need to amp ourselves up or ramp ourselves up and get in a kind of like pregame mode even before we open up our phone to create a text message or a social media invite to somebody to invite them to an event. And I'm going to encourage you to like take feel good music, pump up music. I have my own playlist showing there. It's kind of like the Market America playlist, things like Can't Stop the Feeling, the happy song from Despicable Me, Uptown Funk. There's These things are like, they just remind me of our events and get me in the mood to go to our events where you see people dancing in the aisles and all happy. And so create that space for yourself where you're excited about inviting people to be with you at an event. Smile as you're typing or calling them to ask them if they'd be willing to join you at an event. And let's talk about about kind of like what they would get out of the event. So how do you invite people, right? You wanna make sure that you include the W's in an invitation. And I'm gonna show you some examples of what we teach in the NC training. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about how our panel that's with us tonight uses invitations to get people to attend, whether it's their Wellness 101 or the upcoming World Conference if they get their team there. But anytime you're creating an invitation, whether it's a text, a phone call, a reach out on social media, you wanna make sure that you're talking about who's involved in the event, who should attend, where the event will take place. If it's online, talk about how easy it is to watch it from the comfort of your own home. What will be covered? When is it happening? Why is it happening? And most importantly, why should the person that you're inviting consider attending? So I have three different scripts. I know some of you might screen capture this. This is one that was really geared for um, for Nutrimetrics specifically and how we could potentially invite a potential UFO or team member to an upcoming 101 or 201 event. You could swap out the names of the speakers, you could swap out the event name, but the idea is kind of the same. Um, if this is somebody who's already on the team, already a business owner with us, are you ready to transform your business and increase your retail? The Nutrimetrics team is hosting an online training event with some of the top trainers in the company on, and then you would put the date in there. It's a perfect venue to learn more about what we offer, not just for unfranchised owners, but for anyone who wants 
wants to learn more about supporting business to business opportunities. So that's kind of like the what. You can join in from the comfort of your home and learn more about why doctors and other health professionals are partnering with Nutrimetrics to improve the health of their patients. As you learn more about why health professionals choose the products, you can apply some of those same principles to growing your own retail as an added bonus. And you talk about, we give added value through our learning management system. So that's kind of the why behind they should attend. I personally know I'm inviting my entire team. I know everyone can benefit from this knowledge and the ticket for an, uh, a full day of 101, 201 training is $30. You could swap that out for different uh, ticket prices for the full six hours of training, plus get access to the learning management system or the online community. I say this is a great value. Will you consider joining me online? Something like that. And you might change the language a little bit if it's for uh, inviting somebody who's not already a business owner. You might change the language already if you're talking about inviting a health professional. There's so many different ways that you could swap it out. But let's hear from our panel a little bit. What types of things do you include when you are reaching out to invite either an existing team member or a new person to attend an event like World Conference, which is coming up in less than two weeks? You know, Michelle had a, uh, you know, um, some fantastic success with a physician that, I, I mean, Michelle, I want you to talk a little bit about this transition. How did you first invite Dr. K to an event? Because he's been very Michelle, I'm engaged. Um, Michelle, okay. Um, Michelle, you, I mean, he's been very engaged. He's been to a one-on-one with TLS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's he asked questions in Facebook. I mean, you've just really found someone that's interested in health and well-being and what we have to offer. But that started yeah, with match. an invitation. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, uh, part of my from a previous event, and I always say to them, this is a very professional event. And I will say the symmetrics event using this platform and that he has had at other medical events and things like that. It was an outstanding presentation for him. He was so impressed with our platform. And he said that he was able to dialogue because he felt like we were really talking to him. And that's why he started engaging the dialogue. But I, I invited him with the intention of saying, listen, we have a community of practitioners across the country and they're all getting together. And this community is what builds strength in this wellness endeavor that we're all doing. And you can hop on this event and join us. And having that, all the details laid out in one spot was amazing, was just amazing. That's so, so great. And I love it because you like, you normalized it. These are, you know, other practitioners just like you will be um, on this online event. They're all gathering together. You want to be a part of this. I mean, I love that kind of idea, Michelle, because in that in in that invitation, you know, many times, um, you know, Brandy, you talked about like the fear of getting out there, like what we, you know, the importance of kind of getting over that. And, and, and always feeling like at the end of that, like that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be, right? Um, but, you know, one of the ways that we can help our guests kind of kind of get past that hump um, is to answer that question for them, overcome that obstacle that many people have, which is who else is doing it, right? So we normalize it. We share with them and we answer that obstacle before it ever comes up by saying, you know, many people just like you that are interested in some of your same topics are going to be dialoguing about this. They're going to join together in a community. And it's kind of the open space that you've been looking for. And they go, oh, that kind of fills in all my blanks and I don't have any obstacles. It's fantastic, Michelle. This is Nancy. I just got off of a team call. And so we were talking about the upcoming event. And one of the things that was really interesting was I said, oh, there's going to be new products and there's going to be, you know, the latest information we're going to hear from the Nutrimetrics team and from the TLS folks. And we're doing some special initiatives with both of those divisions. And so, you know, I'm like, so, you know, why did you all buy tickets? So I just invited my colleagues to explain why they bought the tickets. And then, you know, I could see other team members saying, well, are there any more tickets? And I, well, yes, we'll get you, we'll get you connected, you know, make sure you have a ticket for the event. But 
I think that once you get a critical mass of people and they understand, once somebody's come to an event, they know that they're going to get quality information for the amount of money that they're paying. And you really can't argue with the convenience of being able to do it from and the safety of your own home. <laughs> so I think, you know, we're, we're not going to always necessarily have access to this. So I, I always emphasize that as well. Like, I mean, think about the change in or the, the difference in cost, you guys, versus having to travel to, say, Las Vegas, which would have been amazing if we could have done it. But <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's such a huge savings that it just really I, I just can't believe that people aren't already excited and have their tickets. <laughs> no, I, I love that you brought that up, Nancy, because not only do you get the additional savings of not having to pay for a hotel or travel or airfare or all of the other things. I mean, you can still eat at home with your family if your family is with you. But if you do have to miss something, because sometimes people will say, well, if I'm if I'm watching it from home, I may have to tend to the kids or I may have to, you know, do like let the dog out and I may miss something. And the ability to have access to the replays for those two weeks afterwards makes such a difference too. Because even if you didn't miss it because you were letting the dog out, but you loved a golden nugget that you heard and you wanted to be able to go back and listen to it again. You know, we've all heard that we need to hear it seven different times before something sinks in. We have the ability during that two weeks to, to really uh, sell the replay too, because sometimes people wouldn't attend an event just because maybe they weren't available one day out of a three day event, so they wouldn't go. And now they could go back and, and make it fit in their schedule over the next two weeks. So I think that's powerful too. Well, you know, Brandy, another part of it, and you as an educator probably probably know this inherently, but what it also allows us to do, instead of being so busy taking notes all the time, is to actually sit and listen and maybe make a little star and said, oh, I need to go back to this one. And then when you go back the second time, that's when you can take the notes because you know to anticipate what's coming up. But to be able to just sit and listen and take it in and think about it at the time, instead of being busy writing. You have that chance another time to do it. I found I recalled a lot more this last time. That's yeah. great, that's great. I love that. Yeah. Awesome, Any, anybody else have anything they wanna share about how they've, things they've said or sent to team members or new potential partners to encourage them to buy their ticket? Anything that we didn't cover that anybody just before we move I mean, on to the next topic? I always send a flyer if I'm, and I, I do a lot of texting because I think people read their texts more than their emails. So I'll always send out a flyer and um, frequently also a very short vid video. Uh, I'm talking, you know, like less than a minute. But I think that particularly for candidates, whether they're uh, candidates for NCs or HPs or whatever uh, business owners, that the fact that this is online and so affordable, plus having the two week replay makes it a no brainer. It's like, why wouldn't you want the option to learn? Uh, because that's what it is. It's just flat out learning and um, it's very affordable. So I think that having this online with this timing right now, um, it's really a win-win-win. I just wanted I totally to agree. With Rebecca as well, I was gonna say when I send out information, I too do a lot by by texting, it seems like that's where I get the best response from. I do always put a flyer with it because it's visual. Um, and I always, now this may not be so much for convention, but well, it could be, make sure inviting people at the last minute, because when things are online now, people can literally choose that morning to join something because they may have woke up and realized that they, that they have the time. And if it's an event where there's a link to register, so like if you have a Nutrimetrics training or a TLS training, I always include the link in the body of the text or the email yeah. so they don't have to go look for it on the flyer, you know, because then they have to search for it. It's much easier if you could just take that extra step to have that link available. They could just easily click versus searching on the flyer. And I found great results with that. Like literally last minute texts, people are jumping on our training. So I mean, I think that's that awesome. That's a brilliant idea because <laughs> um, my friends will share with you, Brandy, uh, Sarah Tegender included that um, I say, if you give me something in a link and say, go find it, I'm gonna say when I have time. And so the fact that you've just put it right there is so great. I just wanna share a great tip that I learned from Sarah Tegender about, inviting and um, she got me 
to really start focusing on inviting people with an audio message. And this is something that you just reminded me of, Rebecca, is with an audio message. But what she would do is teach me how to, um, is to get uh, someone that's going to be there to actually be the one that sends the audio message. It says, Brandy, uh, so good to hear you. My, uh, so good to meet you. My friend Sarah Tegender says you're going to be coming to an event this weekend. I'm looking forward to being able to talk to you then. I'll see you online. And now it just feels like everyone is going to get together. Like, I don't want to miss that. And so I love that Sarah taught me how to teach people that fear of missing out and really get engaged. And that totally ties in with, with one of the, you can't really mess it up if you're focusing on helping them and including them as part of something fun. So if you think about how can I help them instead of how can I sell them a ticket, it's, it's really about what can they get out of the event and how can you be of service to help them? And I love that idea that you just shared, D, uh, uh, Dr. D, about, you know, if you get somebody else to say, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Now they know they're going to meet other people that care about helping them as well. Um, and if they do say I can't make it don't beat yourself up too much sure. right it's not it's not the end of the conversation if timing isn't right for them if they can't get on for this particular event don't give up on them that just means timing's not right so invite them to the next thing and just keep on going um, I always say you know if you go to a restaurant and a server asks you would you like dessert and you say no imagine if they took it personally every time that somebody said no thank you I don't want any, any dessert but we tend to do that if if we invite somebody to something and they say no it's like we, we feel personally offended and, and we need to learn to not do that because it's just dessert, right? And it, they might just not be hungry or they might be following the TLS lifestyle and not want the extra sugar, right? But we just, what, whatever their choices are, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and not taking the hint that we do want to keep following up with them. Timing not, might not be right. That's okay. Spend your time on the people that timing is right for. So if you're, if you're going through the numbers, like I said, make a goal of two people a day to invite to at a bare minimum and just go through the numbers and eventually you'll get to somebody that is interested and ready. And uh, I just want to wrap up with that. I love this. This is one of the slides from the NC training. And I think it's so important because it talks about how 48% of salespeople never follow up after the first contact. 25% of people make a second contact and then stop. 12% of people only make three contacts and stop. And only 10% of people make more than three contacts. But only 2% of sales are made on the first contact, 3% on the second, 5% on the third, 10% on the fourth, but 80% are made on the fifth to the 12th contact. Now, you might not have time to reach out to somebody for this particular event more than five times, right? That might feel a little pushy to reach out to them five times over a two week period. They might be like, I told you, no, I'm not able to come that week. You don't need to keep inviting me, but that doesn't mean that you can't invite them to five more events over the next couple of months, whether you have another online presentation or a wellness workshop or keep them in mind for the next event that we have, whether that's a Nutrimetrics event, a Market America event, convention in August, just keep inviting them to things. It doesn't all have to be about that same event. And the last thing that I just want to talk about is creating a social media runway. We have this short window of time where we can generate interest between now and the event. So think about things that you can post on your social media profiles to generate interest where people might be like, tell me more about that event that you're going to next week. Same, same concept applies in terms of what do you want to include in your posts? Who is going? Why should you? Why should they consider going? What will be covered? When is the event? Why is it happening? If you share pictures, it could be even pictures from memories from a previous event. Throw a memory picture up and be like, I'm so excited to see my Market America family online in the next 10 days. And just putting little posts out like that generates interest and you never know who's watching who might say, what is that thing that you're going to next week? And they might bring it up to you. Okay, so you can generate posts over the next seven days or so to generate interest and then post during the weekend. So the days of the event, we can't really share 
photos like we normally would of everybody hugging and being in the arena, but you can take screen captures of your computer. You can, uh, so like one of the things that I did the other day, I saw an image of Sarah on a screen at an event and I screen captured the image and I circled my friend Sarah and I sent it to her like, I see you. I think Julie, you sent me one like that from the last uh, convention. You're like, we're both on the stage. Here we are together, right? And so sometimes even just sharing those fun photos and calling out the people that you're excited to see online during the event. Again, you don't know who's watching and they can be like, you know what, that looks so fun. I wanna learn more about that. And it's not even just about getting them to the event this weekend, but maybe you plant that seed in their mind and they're gonna look for when is the next event so that I can go to that as well. And then also after the event, talk about what you've learned, talk about some, what some of your key takeaways were, share that on social media, share the hashtags and you never know what people are gonna click through and look and they might ask you questions. I love taking little selfie videos or just a little selfie of yourself like that last picture if I go back. This is me speaking. My husband actually took this picture. You can see there's my like ring light and my computer and you, I put those up and people are like, well, what were you talking about? What was your presentation about? What were you doing? And next thing you know, you have people that wanna learn more. So there's so many different ways that you can generate interest, whether it's for this event or the next one, we're always promoting to the next event, even as this event is going on. So uh, I'll stop sharing. We can go back to our Brady Bunch style uh, screen where we can all see each other. But I want to thank you guys all for joining us. I know you might have some final comments that you want to share. It's just so exciting. I think the period of growth that we are in right now, we have access to reach people that we never could have before. We can get other people in front of them and share expertise. I think there's just so many opportunities uh, for people that are willing to take advantage of it. So uh, Dr. Mason, I'll turn it back over to you. No, I mean, that's what's so exciting about all of this is that we're able to get uh, opportunity is the, is the exact word. Like that's a perfect word. It's an opportunity to introduce uh, people that otherwise wouldn't have the, um, uh, the space to meet other people, it's the ability to introduce concepts and help. Um, I love what you said, Brandy, about like, what were you doing right there? And that's not just for the speakers. I can say, well, Brandy may enjoy that kind of social media um, where someone says, what were, you, what were you talking about? Every one of us can enjoy that type of so that social media where we, you know, um, where we're able to say, this is what I was doing. It's like, well, what was it about? Um, we just have to think about the opportunity to open that conversation up. And I think online is a perfect way to open that conversation because people are seeking out that kind of connection right now. And, you know, I'm, I'm always talking about like, we're, we're better when we're connected and we have the ability to do so much today. So I'm, I'm overjoyed that you guys, um, um, you know, accepted the invitation. So I'll pass it on uh, to you, you guys, if someone wants to just kind of give their final words. So this is Nancy. I, you know, two things. One is I don't leave it to chance for somebody to get a ticket if they express interest. I send them my PayPal link and I purchase the ticket for them. I don't even let it go to chance. Um, second of all, I never feel... Um, I'm concerned or embarrassed or worried about what somebody's going to think because I know that they're going to get a very good value for their money. I used to attend trainings for the government that we would pay $1,000 a day for. Um, they didn't necessarily have the rocket's red glare and the music, but a lot of the, the principles that are covered in terms of, you know, like what we cover with the basic five, you know, I, I, those people are going to find those useful, those that information in their general life. Mm -hmm. And then the, the third thing is, uh, I think, don't be hesitant about inviting a very busy person because we now have a unique opportunity. We're not taking a practitioner away from their office for a couple of days of travel. I'm not taking my trainers out of the gym for two days. I'm asking them you know, to fit it into their schedule and, and, and accommodating them. So we're really providing this information to people on their terms. And I think if you keep that in mind, it makes it easier to invite. Great points. That's, Great points. That's wonderful. Yeah, well, that was really, really important to me as well is, you know, these, I had two new practitioners that were on that event, like one, like within a week or two. And it was 
so timely. And that's what I feel about all our trainings. They're just in time, right? For the right person who wants to hop on them. So you have to do the invite. And like I said, the impression that they got of our platform so early in their journey with Nutrametrics was phenomenal. So the invite just has to happen, right? They'll have such a good um, out outlook for our platform from now. It'd be a wonderful way to connect with people because I know people all miss people. Yeah. And it's very easy to communicate with each other on the chat part and also on the breakouts or there's going to be the challenge dinner. There's things that are going to be happening where you really have a one-on-one -on -one with people. And I really felt connected to the people um, in the Nutrametrics training. So, because I miss everyone as everybody else does. And I was so excited. It's like, we're all face-to-face -face, just at a distance, but it's very much connected. So very excited to see everybody in 10 days. Yeah, me too. And without a doubt, any candidate that's on is gonna see the professionalism of our trainings, our systems, and our division and also our company. And uh, you know that really speaks for itself. And uh, it's very easy to then take it from there to continuing the relationship and following up with them. And you just have that as a basis. And I personally found uh, having a, a candidate there at that training that it was very easy then to support them and give them the information and then they opened an account. Fabulous. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. We so appreciate you. And thank you for those of you that joined us in Zoom and on Facebook Live. We appreciate you taking the time to learn about how to maximize your business with digital events. And we hope you had some gold nuggets delivered to you throughout the panel this weekend. We certainly enjoyed spending our time with you. And we thank you for joining us on this Zoom and Facebook Live. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you. you at convention. See you soon. Soon. Yeah. soon.